What's going on everyone, Juicebags here, and welcome back to the channel. We got some news today for Dungeon Defenders 2 and for Dungeon Defenders Awakened. Uh, Dungeon Defenders 2 has a content creator program starting up that scales up on all levels, depending on the size of your channel. So if you're a Dungeon Defenders content creator, make sure to get applied to the content creator program. There will be a link to it down in the description below. Now moving on to Dungeon Defenders Awakened news. Uh, a PTR has hit this morning. Uh, split Screen and the Tyrant Stash are here. Um, just in PTR testing, of course. Now, depending on how the PTR test goes, uh, how many bugs they find, etc., etc., uh, is dependent on when it will actually roll out to the live version of the game. Now, anyone that owns the game on Steam can participate in the PTR. Um, little description here, and of course, links to this will be posted down below as well uh, on how to access the PTR. Now, first off, split screen or couch co-op. Local co-op is, a, you know, something that's been promised since the beginning. Uh, this is finally coming and is functional in a testing environment right now in Dungeon Defenders Awaken if you want to check it out. There is instructions here on how to access it. Uh, pretty straightforward, really. Now... We'll get an in-game look at this here in just one moment, but as you see, uh, Couch Co-op, this actually, I tested this this morning, this actually creates a second save file for your machine, so there will be another save file created, so if you're playing with like a family member or a friend uh, locally, that save will be persistent, so you can always come back to it uh, down the road whenever you want. Now the tavern stash is in. Um, a little typo here in the the uh, patch notes. It says it holds a thousand items. It actually holds two thousand items, but our player inventory was reduced to two hundred. So we've got quite a bit of inventory here uh, now. But we will have to play around with the uh, you know using the stash, going back to tavern to access the stash. Now there was some quality of life added. Uh, rune tooltips now include which hero can effectively utilize the rune. Uh, hosts of multiplayer games will notice a new hint for force readying up players. Client party icons now default to the player's current hero if playing offline or Steam is unavailable. When one or more accessories are not equipped on the current hero, a warning for the associated slot will be displayed on the transmog UI. Uh, when trading, players can now type 1 million or 1M, 1B, 1T to add a million, billion, or trillion gold, respectively. So, no more uh, counting zeros, y'all. Uh, players are now able to toggle their match between public and private with the chain's access option on the pause menu. This is pretty huge. So, lots of people like to play public matches, yet they want to build the map themselves. You can load into a map, build it all out, then change it to public and it, your game will show up on the browser for people to join. Players can manually lower the rank of any given rune in the runes tab. This is another requested feature. Uh, some runes, of course, you might want to use a lower quality version of it, whether it be range associated or whatever the case is. There's many reasons you would want to use a lower quality rune and you can now do that. And then quite a few different bug fixes throughout the game. Now, one thing I gotta mention, it was teased on the dev stream that this image, the Mesmer, which is floating in the background on the summit fight, could have some importance. Now, we don't know exactly what that is, but since it would te was teased, I'm gonna assume that the Mesmer is coming to the game finally. Uh, this has been teased ever since the very beginning. Uh, the Mesmer was actually in the original launch trailer, and my assumption for the lore is, is the Mesmer is the entity responsible for sending the heroes back in time. Now, that's just a complete guess on the lore side of things. However, uh, the Mesmer has been around for quite some time, and it looks like something's going to happen with him here pretty soon. Now, whether the Mesmer itself is going to be added into the game as a boss or there's some other Mesmer related uh, lore or whatever uh, we will find out 
here in the future. But this is just a PTR. It's a test to get these base features in. Uh, hopefully it means more to come for Dungeon Defenders Awaken. Uh, we will find out in the very near future. Uh, links to all the pertinent information is down below, but before we take off, let's actually hop into the game and take a look at these features live. All right, and here we go in game. Now here is our stash. Now, as I mentioned on the PTR here, the stash is holding 2000. Uh, on the patch notes, it mentioned 1000. So I'm not sure, is it intended to be 1000 and they're just testing 2000? Uh, that is quite possible to try to test the limits of the stash. Not sure exactly if it's intended to be 1000 or 2000 places in your stash. Now, with that in mind, your regular inventory got lowered to 200. So anything you don't need to carry with you, you're going to want to put in your stash. Uh, this is going to in increase game performance. Uh, most importantly, it's going to reduce your load times getting into a multiplayer match. Uh, that was one of the challenges on why it would take long to get into a co-op online co-op match before is your active inventory now just like your regular inventory you can go through and filter your bags um, i went through and changed mine one thing i did note right off is uh, you can't do the bag icon when you go to change the filter that is not listed here so that's something i would like to see uh, that way you can match it up with your regular inventory in fact it would be just super cool if your regular inventory settings just got copied over to the stash. But, you know, it only takes a minute to go through and set up your individual preset filters. So the stash is here uh, on the PTR. It's holding 2000. Uh, now, what about the couch co-op? Now, of course, couch co-op is something that was promised from the beginning. Uh, it's been highly anticipated. I mean, people have been waiting for this for a long, long time. Quite a few players have actually said they're not even going to play the game until Coach Couch Co-op is available. Now, how this works is you're not logging into a separate account. It is actually going to create a new save file on the same Steam account. So say you've got your neighbor over or a friend or family or whatever the case is, and you want to play together on one screen, you can just go ahead and add a player like you normally would. But if you want to play online, of course, then you're playing online with someone on uh, over the internet on another machine. If you want to play local co-op, you just hit split screen and there you go. So we see now we've got split screen going. Uh, it's a two player split screen right now. Uh, use I'm assuming you can use any controller that uh, is recognizable by Steam. I'm using an Xbox controller personally. And uh, yeah, it's getting the job done. So Couch Co-op is here. And uh, as I mentioned, it does create another save file. This is a persistent save. So, you know, say you're playing with your brother or friend or whatever the case is, uh, you will, you know, they'll be able to save their progress as well as you play through and experience uh, what all is offered in Dungeon Defenders Awakened. But that will get it for now. Thanks an absolute ton for watching. Uh, all the links to the pertinent infos are down in the description below. Make sure you head on down there and check out all the goodies. But thank you all once again, and I will see you next time around. Take it easy.